on guys, CJR here. Um, down in my game room, uh, most of you have seen this game room before if you've been watching my videos over the years. Uh, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're actually gonna head upstairs and I'm gonna show you guys my uh, PC gaming setup and my kind of my second um, gaming area. Uh, if you haven't seen this gaming area down here, you can check out the video in the cards above my room tour for 2016. Let's head upstairs right now and check out my second gaming area and my uh, PC gaming setup. Okay, so here we are in my PC gaming setup area. This is like my secondary gaming room. Um, so I've been spending actually a lot of time in here lately because I just recently built a brand new gaming PC, which I'll show you in a second here. Uh, if you want to see all the components and the video of us actually building it, um, you can check it out in the cards above. I'll post it right there. So um, I've been playing a lot of games on the PC lately. So I've actually been up here more than I have in my uh, big game room. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I have in here uh, PC wise and then I'll show you some of the other stuff I have in here. So this here is my Mac obviously. It's a couple years old, probably three or four years old now. It still gets the job done. I do a lot of editing on here. I do um, listen to a lot of music. I've got uh, two KRK rocket speakers there and a rocket sub down there works great it's got a switch so i can disable it in case the kids are sleeping and i need to uh, do some editing or something like that um yeah not much to say about this 27 inch imac uh still edits okay i get the beach ball once in a while but uh still does the job so i'm pretty happy with that it's been a real uh workhorse for me over the years definitely got my money worth there moving to the left um you can see this desk here is one long desk. It actually used to be, and it's supposed to be in an L configuration, but I'll show you in a second here uh, why I put it into this form here. So this here, uh, this is my gaming PC, which I recently built. Um, the case I used is a Corsair Air 540, I believe. Uh, pretty large, but it's really nice uh, compartmentalized. Everything that needs to be cooled is kept on this side where the fans are and everything that doesn't um, is kept separate so you're not cooling stuff that you don't need to be cooling, which works out quite nicely. Um, like I said, you can check out the full gaming PC specs and uh, build video up in the cards there. I go through piece by piece showing you what is exactly in there. Uh, basically a i7-6700 um, and a GTX 1080 uh, Strix edition which has uh, been very good very good to me so far. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, all in all, the, PC, the gaming PC has been fantastic. So the monitor I'm using is a LG ultra wide uh, 3440 by 1440, 21 by nine aspect ratio. Really enjoying this. I went with the straight monitor over the curved. I believe the curved was three or $400 more. And uh, I'm really not regretting it. I don't think that I wanted to spend that much money, more money just for a, like a one inch curve. Uh, I've got my iPad down here. When I Twitch stream, I use that for chat, which are, works out really well. Or if I'm playing a game, I like to watch YouTube videos on there. It actually works out quite nice. Uh, below that, beside that, I've got my 360 controller, which I use for certain games. Um, not, I don't have a huge background in PC gaming, so I'm still getting good on the keyboard and mouse. So some games I still play with controller. I play a lot of NBA on the PC just because it looks so good. And uh, obviously you got to use a controller for that. Same with driving games. Uh, big USB hub here, which is great. Uh, my keyboard. This is a... Um, Oh God, I'm drawing a blank here. Razer Black Widow Chroma Edition and the Black Mamba or the Razer Mamba. I'm thinking Kobe Bryant, Black Mamba. Um, the Mamba Chroma Edition mouse. Uh, really enjoying both. I'm sure you guys are going to tell me that uh, the Corsair is better, some of you. Um, a guy, from a guy going from basically nothing when it comes to PC gaming to this, I've been really happy. I'm not going to say it's the best keyboard and mouse out there, but I really like it. So, um, got this massive Razer Galactus uh, mouse pad too, which works really well. I'm really happy with that. 
Um, as you can see under here, um, running the whole length of this desk, there's a support beam right in the center there. I've got an LED strip that I just uh, recently installed in there, and I think it looks pretty good. I recently also did some cord management, um, got it to the point where I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, being a glass desk, not easy to do, so uh, don't be too hard on me about cord management. Uh, but like I said, I'm pretty happy with it. Nice having the cold air coming out of there too. Keeps everything nice and cool above. Um, let me see. Uh, for my webcam, I've got a Logitech. This is the Logitech C920. Really good webcam. And this is one of my uh, blue Yeti microphones. Really happy with that, with the shock mount. I think I paid more for the shock mount than I did for the mic. I had to buy this, well I bought the mic used of course, um, but I had to buy that, it was pretty expensive. So it's got a real cheap arm on it, but it does a trick. Got a Zelda notebook there for taking notes while I'm playing games, writing down codes or anything I need to know. Uh, it's time for that fan to go, it's not summer, or summer anymore, so it's not super hot up here anymore. Uh, let me think here. Let me quickly show you guys what it looks like with the lights off with that uh, LED strip. Uh, right now I've got it cycling through the colors, but that's the color I actually normally use is green. I really like how the green looks. But it'll cycle through, much like the Chroma keyboard. Wow, it's actually in sync with the keyboard right now. Let's see if it switches to, now it's going to purple and that one's going to green. So it'd be cool if I could sync that with the, bar, with the uh, light strip, but... Uh, I also have some LEDs behind the screen itself, uh, which can really help um, kind of simulate better blacks. Actually, it makes it look pretty nice, so really happy with how the LEDs came out. Uh, so to the right of my computer here, so I was saying earlier the reason why I put this configuration like this and not an L, the desk used to come around here, um, is for the HTC Vive. There's my Vive, uh, just on a little stand, controllers, beside that is my Phantom Drone. Uh, my Vive setup, basically what I do is I slide this right under the desk, um, get rid of this chair. Uh, the chair is nothing special, Costco faux leather chair, or it might be real leather, I don't even know. Uh, I would like to get one of those cool gaming PC chairs at some point. Uh, futon here with my favorite uh, Hulk pillow. Anyways, I slide that out into the hallway and I've got a really, really nice space in here for uh, playing VR games. It's actually quite large, I don't know if it comes across on camera, but... Anyways, that's where I store the HTC Vive stuff. Uh, these are all full of cords that I need for doing various technical stuff, USB cords, audio cords, some camera gear in there, front Steam Link, um, just some networking stuff, my iPhone box. And then on this wall, we've got Boba Fett, which I picked up at a garage sale for like $5 a couple years ago. Um, some canvas comic book prints. This shelf here houses most of my board games and a lot of my boxes from my uh, Mac products. Some really good board games, Ticket to Ride, Pandemic, the usual, Formula D, that's a good one. Uh, some graphic novels up top. I'm not a huge comic book guy, but I do like getting some graphic novels. I've got, again, from a garage sale, the entire uh, Sin City set. Really cool. Essential Daredevil, all from garage sales. We've got Cards Against Humanity, my iMac box. Going this way, I've got my Wii U sign up there. And then up over here, some more camera equipment, PC games, boxes for more stuff. More board games. Bit of a mess. Um, shelves above, my HTC Vive box, my Phantom 3 drone box, my graphics card box, and then a bunch of World of Nintendo figures up there, that's where I keep those guys. Whiteboard, and this little poster thing here, again from a garage sale, more World of Nintendo figures. And then behind my Mac, I gotta find a better spot for him, but there's Frank, love that picture. Anyways guys, that's it for my PC gaming setup, my secondary game room tour. Um, if you want to see my original game room, like I said, if you haven't seen it before, you can find a uh, link to it in the cards above. Um, anyways guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, do me a big favor and hit that like button. You can find me anywhere on social media at CJR, Instagram. 
Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. You'll find all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Till the next episode.